Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the isosceles trapezoid. Last time, we are done discussing the definition and the different parts of a trapezoid. And also, we have discussed the vision of trapezoid. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So by the way guys, before I start discussing this, Isosceles trapezoid is considered as a special trapezoid, okay, a special trapezoid. So going back with our topic last time, trapezoid is considered or defined as a quadrilateral with one pair of opposite parallel sides. So uh, yung ganong definition is also inherited or adopted by this isosceles trapezoid. Meron din siyang um, opposite parallel sides and later on pag-uusapan natin siya. So, how do we define isosceles trapezoid? Isosceles trapezoid or an isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid whose legs are congruent. Ito yung isa sa mga important, important definition niya or property niya kaya siya tinawag na special trapezoid. So again, this one is a trapezoid whose legs are congruent. So, first, ano muna natin? Sir, where are the opposite parallel sides? Para masabi natin siya isang trapezoid. Let's say for example, I have here this kind of um, symbol. Uh, it simply means that your AB is parallel to your DC. And your AB is the upper base and this one is the lower base. And this one, your AD, your side AD to your side BC, these are the legs of this trapezoid. And based on our definition, it has two congruent legs. Sir, where is the two congruent legs? Ito siya. You have your AD or leg AD or side AD is congruent to side BC. Ito yung mismong congruent legs niya. And another thing about this, tandaan niyo mabuti ah, these are the bases your AB and these are the bases and this side is your leg and this is what, this is the other leg. Okay? So, ito lang yung mismo definition ng ating isosceles trapezoid. And there, on the other side of our whiteboard, nandito naman yung different properties ng ating isosceles trapezoid. So, let's start with the first property. Base angles of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Again, base angles of isosceles trapezoids are congruent. So given this illustration, we're going to use this illustration. Eh? So in asan po dito yung base angles that are congruent? So let me give some label or put label on those congruent angles. So mag-focus ka ngayon sa base, uh, sa lower base mo, which is DC. This angle D, angle D is congruent to angle C. If this is a trapezoid, Sorry, if this is an isosceles trapezoid, based on the property, sabi dito, base angles of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Sir, how about this one? Is, is angle A congruent to angle D? No. Ang congruent angles lang ay yung parehas sila ng side ng base or side na kinabibilangan. Since angle D and angle C belongs to, the, to your lower base, therefore, sila yung congruent. So we can say here that angle D is congruent to angle C. Ito yung first pair of congruent base angles natin. So let's move on with the next pair. Here, mag-focus ka ngayon side AB mo, which is your upper base, in which your angle A is congruent to your angle B. Sila dalawa na yung congruent because they belong to the upper base. So we can have here the illustration or this statement, angle A is congruent to angle B. Sir, ano yung pinakamagandang application or uh, can you please give us as an example para mas lalo namin ma-realize what is meant by property number one. So I think ibig sabihin yan. Um, let's say for example, this angle measures 70 degrees. Okay? So for example, this angle measures 70 degrees. What about the measurement of angle C? Uh, we can say that 
since they are congruent, we can say that this angle also measures 70 degrees. That's it for property number one. So let's move on with property number two. According to the property number two, opposite angles of isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. So when we say supplementary angles, again, let me repeat the definition of it. Uh, supplementary angles are angle pairs that has the sum of 180. Or in other words, kapag inad natin si angle 1 plus angle 2, if their sum is equal to 180, therefore, these two angles are supplementary to each other. Okay? So, let's have this one. Opposite angles of isosceles trapezoids are supplementary. So, we have here focus tayo sa angle A. Focus to angle A. This angle is opposite to your angle C. Right? So we can have this, we can have this um, equation that the measure of the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C is equal to 100, sorry, let me erase this one. Angle A plus angle C is equivalent to 180 degrees because they are supplementary. And aside from that, we can also have another pair of supplementary angles because your angle B is opposite to your angle D. Okay? So we can have this illustration. You have your angle B plus the measure of angle D is equivalent to 180 degrees because they are, not, they are supplementary. So, sir, uh, can you please apply the, that property? Yes, we can apply that property. So basically, this, for example, ano, um, you know, we have this, ano, uh, let's say, your angle D, your angle D is 70. Since angle D is opposite to your angle B, what is the measurement of angle B? So, try natin na given this equation. Your angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Your angle D measures 70. So, you have 70 degrees is equal to 180 degrees and angle B. So, transpose natin sa kabila to. So, we can have B is equal to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees. And that will give you 110 degrees. At the measurement in the angle D, which is 110 degrees. So, ang tanong dito, do we need to solve for or to calculate for angle A? No. This one is also 110 degrees. Because angle C and angle A are supplementary angles. And aside from that, angle B and angle A, a are base angles. Which is, kanina, sabi natin, they are congruent based on property number one. So that's it for I, for property number two. I hope na natutunan niyo yung property number two natin. So let's move on with number three. The diagonals of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So diagonals of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So I will be erasing this one. Erase ko lang ito. So okay. Let's have the property. So, for property number three, let me draw, let me draw a diagonal. Let's say I will draw diagonal AC. Okay, diagonal AC. And let me draw another diagonal, which is diagonal DB or BD. Since we have the property, since we have the property, the diagonals of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. We can have this statement that DB or diagonal DB is congruent or equal to diagonal AC. So, what does it mean? Uh, since they are congruent, since uh, those lines are diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid, they are ng haba or measurements. So, let's say for example, uh, your DB is equivalent to 10 units. Sir, what, how about AC? Since they are congruent, this one is also 10 units. 
that's it for property number three. So, if you have any question about this topic, I hope na natutunan nyo. And again, kung meron kayong question, you can comment down below para malaman natin kung meron, sa mga, meron mga parts na hindi clear sa inyo. And again, if bago lang sa YouTube channel ko, pwede ka mag-request ko ng topic ang gusto mo na pag-aralan sa ating channel. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's... I'm sorry. Bye-bye! <laughs>